All right, Seattle, we are back. Man, it's time for us to continue our year one offseason with your Seattle Stallions. Fresh off the NHL entry draft where we have set up our franchise for ho uh, hopefully the next 15 years by drafting Alexei Lafreniere. First overall. Now, I was talking with the scouts in the chat. Yes, everyone is here um, about the uh, draft in the last live stream. And the way I acquired Alexei Lafreniere, the first overall pick, I feel like I fleeced the system just a little bit. The St. Louis Blues, they wanted to give up their, their draft pick. Um, I had a timer to work with. In. I was asking, should I go through with it? I felt peer pressure. I felt I felt uh, pressure from the time, and I went through on a trade that it was clearly a fleece. Why would the St. Louis Blues not want a guy, Alexei Lafreniere, that for the next three years is on a minor league deal, and uh, who could be their franchise player of the future? Now, I justified it by saying, you know, Eric Stahl could be their third center. He just came off a point-per-game season. He almost got the Seattle Stallions to the Stanley Cup Finals. They just won a Stanley Cup two years ago, so they're trying to get it done right now. And Blues fans know how long it can be until you get to the Stanley Cup Finals, right? So I wanted to sweeten that deal a little bit for the St. Louis Blues. We're going to add to it, and it's just going to be assumed that it was one big trade. Because right now, the St. Louis Blues, they acquired Eric Stahl from us. They have a decent team, but there's a lot of good free agents available. So I was thinking, why not take some of the bad contracts off the team for the St. Louis Blues so the trade from their end makes it seem like it's Eric Stahl, but they're also dumping some salary so that they can go after those big-time free agents and maybe, maybe just re-sign uh, 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 Alex Petrangelo. And if they can come back with Alex Petrangelo and Eric Stahl and the draft picks, it starts to make a little bit more sense. So I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, you can see their salary cap available is only 8.775. All right, uh, their forwards, I mean, it's looking good. O'Reilly, Tarasenko, Eric Stahl is the third best forward. Perron, Shen, Schwartz, they got six guys above 83. And on the point, they got uh, Falk, Pareko, Dunn. But you can see it gets a little bit weak there on the blue line because they lost Alex Petrangelo. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take their backup goalie, Jake Allen, who's got one year left at 81 overall, but a $4.2 million salary cap. So that's that's a lot of money we're freeing up. And we're going to go to their center core. And because we traded them Eric Stahl, we're going to take the other veteran that they had, Tyler Balsack, right off their team. Because they have Ryan O'Reilly, Stahl, and Shen that they can run. Uh, uh, Balsack is almost making $5 million. All right? So what this trade does is it frees up almost $10 million for the St. Louis Blues while acquiring Eric Stahl for Alexei Lafreniere. What we're also going to do is we're going to give up a second. All right? So at the end of the day, the trade would have been Eric Stahl, a first in that year's draft, which ended up being the 14th pick, a first in next year's draft, the upcoming year, a second for Alexei Lafreniere, and $10 million of salary cap relief. All right? I think that makes a lot more sense from the St. Louis Blues perspective. I, uh... I know a lot of people say, Johnny, you didn't fleece the system. I feel like I did fleece the system, and I did it because I felt pressure. So I'm going to go through with this, all right? We're going to take on uh, $10 million of salary cap for one season, and the St. Louis Blues can really go on a tear. So proposed trade, trade accepted. It's done. It's done, all right? I went through with it, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So there's the trade for Alexei Lafreniere. I think it's a lot, I think it's a lot fairer now. And when you look at the St. Louis Blues, what a goof. Nah, boys, we, we, we scored a solid franchise player. We have to give up real value for that, all right? The game had me listed as a rebuilder, so my first-round picks were a lot higher than they should have been. But now the St. Louis Blues, look at this. They have $70 million of 87. They have $17 million of cap space. 17. Yeah, the 16.5 at the bottom, which means they can go right back into free agency and target those guys. So what we're going to do is as we simulate ahead, I want to take I want to keep an eye on who St. Louis targets in uh, free agency, right? Cuz they could go after, let's see, there's uh, two teams interested for Alex Petrangelo, let's see. It's Vancouver and Dallas. So they didn't even send him an offer. So now they can. So that's why the trade makes sense. I'm sticking with it. There she blows. Now, let us go back to our roster and see what we need. We already have like uh, like 40 players under contract, right? So hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yeah, we have 40 uh, contracts under 50, so we can only get 10 players. So we're pretty much holding on to all of our guys that we got last year because now with Alexei Lafreniere, we have to figure out all over again who's going to work with him. So we're resetting this whole system, essentially. So I got three goalies. I got an AH. I could use a backup AHL goalie, all right? Uh, defenseman. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I could use... I got defensive. I got two offensive. Hate check is a defensive. I could use the defensive defenseman. Yeah, I could use the defensive defenseman. I think I'll take an, a defensive defenseman and an offensive defenseman for the defensive core. And then forwards, I mean, I already got so many forwards. I got ball sack now that I could throw in there instead of Brendan Dubinsky. What's ball sack's uh, face-off rating? 83. Dubinsky? 88. All right, so ball sack could actually be a fourth line center for us this year, boys, if I can't find a trade. Um, interesting. Uh, and then I just need snipers, playmakers, and power forwards. Yeah. All right. So we only have 10 roster spots. Let's use them uh, correctly, all right? Uh, so let's jump in there. Free agency. Stream froze. Now nah, you ain't getting me. You ain't getting me. I ain't falling for that nonsense. All right. So unrestricted free agents. First up, goalies. All right. So we have a lot of uh, uh, salary cap available as well, but we're not committing long term to anyone right now because we again we got to figure out what's happening with Alexei Lafreniere. Uh, who should we give a contract to? I'll give this guy Kakinen. Remember, we just need a backup. Twenty three years of age, fringe starter. Perfect. All right, bang, one year. I just need a bag. I just need. I just need a player. I just need a body back there. Uh, defenseman. All right, so we're not going Tory Krug. A lot of people saying that Tory Krug is a must. Um, remember, with the way that we're building this team, if I sign a big time free agent, I'm putting a, on my own rule where I can't trade him within the first half of the contract I give him. So I'm if I'm giving Tory Krug a five year deal, I'm not allowed to trade him for at least the first three years. So I'm not I'm not committing to a big time free agent unless I know his chemistry. Deal with it. All right, I'll, I'll settle with uh, small time uh, uh, free agents or guys that I could sign to one year deals, but I'm not doing this. Uh, so we're gonna go with Kevin Shattenkirk. All right, a veteran, 31 years of age, offensive defenseman, which is what we need. But this is not too much. Now Edmonton wants him for four years. What was our what was our contract right now? Two years. Well, he's a free agent. That's another thing I should probably do in free agency. Like I should I should probably listen to the year length that they want. So it's uh, it kind of. It's kind of legitimate, but what's uh, what's our year length right now? So one, two years, three years, four years, five. So five for Cam. I'm not going five. Probably three years. The same thing with Andreas Janssen. So let's go three years. Give Chara? No, I don't think we're going after Chara, ladies and gentlemen. Chara's going to be a little bit too much, and I think he's a, a two-way defenseman. I believe. Hang on, let me see. Chara. Defenseman. Chara, two-way defense. Yeah, he's a two-way defenseman. All right, so we're just going to take a chance on Shattenkirk right here. We're going to go three years. All right, he's 31. Yeah, he might drop. I just hope he doesn't drop this year. He won't drop this year. I'll go two years. Yeah, I'll go two years. Five point build up because I'm giving him a little bit more. I'll give him... I'll get, yeah, I'll pay you, Shattenkirk. Yeah, I'll make sure that you get paid. There you go. Two years at six mil per. All right, there you go, Shatty. All right, so we're going to get uh, Kevin Shattenkirk. Now, let's try to get a defensive defenseman. I think Tanev is a little bit too much. Let's take a chance on a smaller guy. Uh, Hamannick, too much. 4.99. Merrill, 2.6. And Edmondson. Let's take a chance on both of these guys. All right, two years. Two years. 2.750. And Edmondson. All right, two years. 2.750. Alright, so we got ourselves two defensive defensemen and an offensive defenseman. We're going to see if they fit in on the system. If they don't, they can play in the AHL or they can uh, or they can play with our top squad just until we figure it all out. But Haycheck and he don't even need to be on the team this year because we have the same coach, right? So we'll see what happens uh, with those two guys. And then forwards, uh, I just want to find like the best potential playmakers, uh, power forwards and snipers that would make sense for this team. Like a guy like Ryan Strom. Eight million dollar. I'm not doing that. Connor Sheary, five million. I mean, this is ridiculous. Something less than three mil. I'll take a look at. There you go. Like one point eight. Carl Soderberg, two way. Nah. Patrick Maroon, power forward, but he's thirty two. I already have a bunch of power forwards, so nah. Take a shot on the guy. Pontus Aberg. Should we try another sniper like this? Two point five mil. He's twenty six. Medium top nine though. Uh, could be something. Could be something decent for the AHL though. Uh, just two point five. Is there anything better than two point five? Nemesnikov two point four. I already had him last year. Yanmark two point three. Johan Larson. Yeah, it's really looking like the only guys. Oh, what about grinders for the fourth line? Kyle Clifford. Although I'm using ball sack and. Do we can we get can we get three grinders legitimately? Hang on a second. Look for grinders. Okay, so the best right wing grinder is Troy Brower and Clifford. All right, Troy Brower's not bad. He's thirty four. Another grinder, Callahan, thirty five. 
Another grinder. Reeves, 33. Weiss, 31. All right, what about centers? I got plenty of wingers. What about centers? I need a center grinder. Shit. Oh, man. Tim Schaller. Uh, nah, I'm not going to go with the grinder setup just yet. If we want to draft some grinders, fine. But as of year number one, nah, we're not going to do that. All right. So, you know what? Let's just take one guy per category here then. Uh, the cheapest right winger. Who shows up? Yeah, it's it's a it's up it's a Berg. So I'm just gonna get him for one year, 2.5, uh, 2.75. I got some money to spend. Why not use it? Uh, left wingers, the best guy available. Uh, Patrick Maroon is probably it, but now nah, we'll wait on that. Yanmark, Nemesnikov, Yanmark. Did he play with Dallas last year the entire season? He did. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance on him. Defending Stanley Cup champion. Why not? One year. 2.5. All right. And then the centers. Let's see. Anything popping up? Playmaker. Grandlin. 5 mil. No. 2.4 for uh, Spezza. No. Cousins. Playmaker. And Rodrigo. Oh, hell yeah. Both 26 years of age. Both less than a million. If anything, you could be in the AHL squad. Hell yeah. Right, one year. And Rodriguez. One year. There you go. All right. So I'll get those two guys signed. That is, I don't want to go too close to the roster limit. I want some flexibility if I need to make a trade or not. And we already have a full roster. Like I said, with Alexei Lafreniere, we need to figure out exactly how he's going to play. Uh, but last but not least in free agency, we got to get our head coaches. Remember our two female coaches decided to not come back. So we've got to replace them. I need a goalie coach, associate coach, and an assistant coach for the AHL squad. So let's do that. Uh, AHL associate coach. I just want the best guys when it comes to growth. All right. So team teaching a plus, but I don't want a goalie. There you go. Generalist 52 years of age. I already had her, right? She said, no, she said, no, almond, almond joy. Uh, let's try this one. Associate coach. Yeah. Anti Koppinen. Yeah. 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 Three years. All right. Maybe this guy will actually treat my contract offer as a, uh, as not an insult, AHL associate coach. There you go. Ridiculous, right? Um, and the AHL assistant coach. Same thing. I want the best teacher, but I don't want goalies. Ooh, veteran? No, I don't want veterans. Generalist or offense would be nice. Generalist. I'll take that. A C. Yikes. Voitek Froley. You got some growth to do, my man. All right, so I'll give him. There you go. Remember, money doesn't matter when you have owner mode off. That's the way to play this. Uh, and what do I need? I need a goalie coach for the AHL, for the NHL. So let me go all the way back up to the top of the list here just to get these guys. Uh, teaching. Who's the best? They're all D minus. Oh, D. There you go. All right. So this guy can be the, um, the goalie coach. Yuri Kondratev. Kondratev. Something like that. Uh, NHL goalie coach. There you go. Offer. All right, so there are the three coaching um, slots taken care of. Now, what about scouts? Because we are still using our scouts. I think there are some scouts available. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there are. What do we need, though? Do we need anything? What's my scouts looking like? Russia, Sim League is fine. WHL, I think, had, had a better guy in there. So, and the NHL had better guys. Now, I'll leave them in there for, for right now. <clears throat> Unless they're like A's. And they're actually like Scandinavia. I already had. I don't need AHL coaches or NHL coaches. That's fine. Scandinavia, the WHL coach, the Hedekin guy. All right, so this is the one coach I'll get, or the one scout I'll get. Sorry. All right, so five years at 180. All right, and I'll back out. I'm going to fire. Sorry, you just didn't get it done. I didn't find any scouts from the WHL. Uh, uh, uh what's your first name? Serge Giroux. Serge Giroux, I don't care if you're 50 years of age. Get the hell off my team. Serge has been fired, ladies and gentlemen. He's gone. He's fucking gone, man. No no chill whatsoever. All right. So let's advance a few days and see what the free agency brings us. And also, we're going to keep an eye on the St. Louis Blues, all right? Uh, yeah. All right. So the AHL associate coach has signed with us. Uh, I'm going to reject. Son of a bitch. All right, Kongratchev wants to join. What the hell, man? All these damn coaches, they hate me. They fucking hate me. Oh, my God. Tank 35, 57, 35 subs. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, my God, dude. Ah! 
All right, all right. I got to use some power of video editing. The scouts have gone off. I'll give you guys a little look. So the scouts have gone off, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that's good karma for not cheesing the game. Yes! All right, I got to use some power of video editing. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. My fans, my scouts just went wild with donations and subs. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. I got to stay on track here, but again, all your donations and subs mean everything. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Um, coaches, right, coaches. I think they're deliberately trolling me, but it's a good kind of troll. So, like, what do I do? How am I supposed to feel about that? <laughs> All right, so, uh, assistant coach. Here we go, assistant coach. Let's send it out there again. I don't know why this guy decided to not sign. But, uh, alright, that's fine. Fine by me. Let me go down here to teaching. Alright. And we'll get, uh, I'll just get that veteran. Actually, no, I don't want that. I don't want that general. He didn't want to sign. I'll get this general. C as well. A D minus. Boris Arkhipov. All right, Boris. Come on, Boris. You ain't getting a contract from anywhere else. You're a goddamn D minus. I'm maxing out your salary offered. Boris. Boris. We need you, Boris. All right. The women didn't want to sign. That old fuck didn't want. Okay, I can't use the F word. The F word is the bad dem demonetization word. Ah, oh, why am I so uneducated? That I can't talk without using the damn F word. Oh, it shows a lack of intelligence. It really does. Um, all right. Uh, advanced day. Jeez Louise. All right. So I got that guy. Uh, son. Yeah, we're just waiting for that guy. We're also waiting for our free agents. Boris Arkhipov. Yes. Boris is back. Or he's on the team. So we have our coaching staff set, ladies and gentlemen. Joel Edmondson has accepted our contract offer. All right. He wants a chance. Uh, Matias Yanmark from the Dallas Stars, defending Stanley Cup champion. He is coming over. Uh, Evan Rodriguez is signed with the AHL squad. Nice. Kevin Shattenkirk is on our team. Beautiful. And Nick Cousins. John Merrill as well. Capo Kakinen. And Pontus Aberg. I got them all. All right. Beautiful, ladies and gents. Beautiful. So let me go back to proposed trade. Let's see what we got. We got 48 players out of 50 on our card. So I'm done. I want to leave two spots available. All right, we are good. What is what is with your mic, John? Barry Flippity, get the hell out of here. You must be so loud. Get the hell out of here. Don't try to screw around with me. I got my own mods now trying to screw with me. Goaltenders. All right, so we got the five goalies that we needed. Uh, we got the defensemen that we needed. And we got the forwards that we needed. So, yeah, I got 48 out of 50. We are good to go. We are good to go. So I'm hoping that those guys have good chemistry. But again, it's all about Alexei Lafreniere. How is he going to fit in on this team? Is he going to like this coach? Is he not going to like this coach? I don't know. We've got to uh, we got to get to free agency. But, oh, we got to get to the preseason. But before we do that, has the, have they gone? Oh, Petrangelo has not gone yet. Two teams are interested still. I don't know about the St. Louis Blues, but let's wait. Let's wait to see what the St. Louis Blues do. Imagine they don't sign anyone with all that salary cap. And it was just a big waste. And I actually made them worse by taking Tyler Balsack and, 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 and Jake Allen off the team. <laughs> that would just be typical. All right, so advance the day. Let's go by a week until those big times, uh, big time players are signed. Past the seventh. All right. Let's see. Let's see if they're there. Free agency. They're gone. They're gone. All right, Krug is gone. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Who signed Tori Krug and who signed Alex Petrangelo? The big-time free agents available signings. Let's see. Robin Lehner goes to Edmonton. Six-year deal. They have a goalie in Edmonton. That's not good. That's not good for us. Tanev goes to Vegas. All right, Justin Braun goes to the, the Rangers. All right. Robbie Fabry resigns with Detroit. Tory, Cr oh my God! The Colorado Avalanche have acquired the offensive defenseman Tory Krug, alongside of Kale McCarr, Nathan McKinnon, Rantanen. Holy shit! The Colorado Avalanche are stat. We'll take a look at their team after this, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we will. Winnipeg signs Johan Larson, Kevin, uh, Kevon Miller. Uh, Michael Froley to Montreal. Jason Spezza. So they got another center. All right. Colin Wilson, three-year contract. Brendan Dillon, one-year contract. <laughs> Look, I say all that all that uh, uh, cap space that he just gave to the, 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 the St. Louis Blues. Corey Crawford, Ryan Strom, Sam Reinhart. All right. Ryan Strom goes to Ottawa with that eight-year, $8 million deal. All right. Corey Crawford goes to San Jose. Tyson Berry goes to Ottawa. So Ottawa making big-time moves. Signing Tyson Berry and Ryan Strong. That's like $12, $13 million right there. Holy shit. The Vancouver Canucks have got themselves 
Alex Petrangelo, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's gonna be that's gonna be very interesting. There's all our signings. All right, that's gonna be free agents. And St. Louis, Michael. Oh, St. Louis got Michael Grant. Jesus, they went crazy. They went top heavy. All right, so let's see what the St. Louis Blues got. They did. They did spend their money. They did spend their money. One year deal for Petrangelo. I know. I guess he feels that Vancouver can help him win a Stanley Cup. I don't know why. Let's see Vancouver's team now. They're four million dollars away from the Caps uh, 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 limit. Jesus. Jesus. Quinn Hughes and Petrangelo. He wants to test the waters. Holy shit. That's a pretty good team. Petrangelo, Pedersen, Horvat, Hugh. I mean, the two centers, the two defensemen, and then Besser and JT Miller. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. All right, what about the St. Louis Blues? They still have, they have $6 million of cap space, so they spent it. They spent it. Let's see on what. The goalie situation looks like this. So they need a backup, but that's okay. They, no point in spending that much money on a backup. Uh, one, two, three. So they got Brendan Dillon in there. So that's what they spent their money on. A uh, defenseman. One year, 4.5. So it's not that bad. They're taking a rental. So they'll, ha they'll have more money available for next year again. Um, but 82 overall defensive defenseman. It helps out. Uh, and then forwards. Let's see who they got. Ryan O'Reilly, Tarasenko. They got Stahl from me. Perron, they already had. Shen Granlin, that's who they got. Three years at 5.1. Jaden Schwartz. Colin Wilson, three years at three. And Jason Spetz at two years. So, yeah. So, I got them. Eric Stahl in 87. Granlin in 83. Wilson and Spetz at 81, 81. And Brendan Dillon. Yeah, they completely reshaped their squad with that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I was hoping that they could maybe sign a Krug or a Petrangelo, but that's okay. And uh, what about the Colorado Avalanche? Let's see here. We got to take a look at the Avalanche, right? We got to take a look at the Avalanche. Holy shit. Oh, I'm looking at forwards. Hang on. Yeah, I was going to say. Makar, 86, and Krug, 88. I mean, he could just, he could just, uh, and uh, five years is the same as Ranton. And oh my God, it's perfect. They might lose Landeskog next year, but that's the guy to lose. If you want to lose somebody, lose Landy. Jeez, man. They are stacked. They got to find a way to get rid of some of these guys down here to free up for McKinnon and such. Interesting. 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 In three years, McKinnon might not be there anymore, though. But very interesting. All right. So that's essentially it, ladies and gentlemen. Let us simulate up to preseason to take a look at Alexei Lafreniere and how he fits in on this team. Let's go. Okay, so here we are, preseason of year number two. I've already gone ahead with uh, all the uh, the scouts. We've gone ahead and edited the lines. I want to go through this step by step before we take it into year number two. First thing, our captain Eric Stahl from last season was traded to the St. Louis Blues who have completely reshaped. We are going to go into year two with no captain. But if we make the playoffs based on whoever produced the best, then we may choose that captain later. All right, but right now the alternate, Evander Kane, Josh Anderson, and Sammy Vatanen. One day, Alexei Lafreniere might get that C. Probably. Everyone's already calling for it. But I have decided as the general manager to protect the kid in his rookie season, not giving him the C just yet. He's got he's to find his game before we start putting all the pressure in the world on this kid's shoulders, all right? But we have some very, very, very good news, YouTube. All right, me and the, the Twitch uh, scouts. We've already gone through and gotten plus threes and, and, and plus fives on our AHL squad everywhere. But before we take a look at... at Line changes, right? Alexei Lafreniere. Now that we're in preseason, we have uncovered what his player preferences are, and it's a good one. Carry, shoot, efficient, balance. Now, what it's not good for is this coach. But remember, we went for this coach last year, Lyles, because he is just A's across the board. And coaching stats really do matter when it comes to the simulation. What you want to try to do is find a really good coach who maxes out a certain player. And that certain coach that I'm going for is Henriksen, all right? We have this guy that we've been grooming in the AHL since year number one. And take a look at he, and took a look at his uh, his first line. Behind the net, carry, shoot, efficient, balanced. And we have already done the check. Alexei Lafreniere is a behind the net player. So Alexei maxes out forward first line number one for Henrik Henriksen. As our AHL head coach, who we can promote to our NHL head coach. And we already know our defensemen down there, Malkin, Reyes, Ivanov, get the plus five. 
So we can get a plus five for Lafreniere, we can get a plus five for Reyes, Malkin, all those guys. But we're not ready just yet. We have to continue to groom this guy in the AHL. He had a great season last year, lost in the finals, grew to a B minus. If we have another good year, he might be able to get to a B, B plus. Once he's at a B plus, we can fire Lyles and move on with Henriksen as the coach with Lafreniere of the future. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm grooming Henriksen right now. You can see his individual stats. Lyles is way up there. And I'd like to make the playoffs in year number two here, all right? We started the season last season. Uh, we started the year last season. Um, with a 1-10 record and made the playoffs with uh, with this uh, head coach. So he knows what he's doing. So for year number one, Alexei, you're going to have a coach that you don't necessarily like, but you know what? On a rookie deal, you just got to deal with my man. But we have the coach of your dreams grooming in the AHL. So don't you worry. So let's go through this now. I'll show you guys what we got. Uh, we wanted to make sure Alexei got the plus three or plus five and got a lot of ice time. So he's on the first line with Kasha and Anderson. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a center. Having a winger playmaker kind of hurts. I, I could try to throw Bjugstad up there, but he didn't get the plus three. So uh, we got a, a winger playing the center ice position. We're going to see how it plays out. If uh, they're not simulating well, I'll always change it up. But I think it'll be just fine. Uh, second line, Evander Kane, Sammy Blay, and Garanov. Dennis Garanov, who, who got brought up from the AHL squad. He actually fits in on this team quite nicely, so we're going to keep him there. Uh, Vinny Hinostroza. Nick Bjugstad and Andreas Janssen on the third line with a plus three. Those guys are going to stay together. And then the fourth line, Jake uh, Jake Vitrano, Frank Vitrano, Tyler Balsack, and uh, Barclay Goudreau. Uh, we've got a good face-off taker, a power forward, and a two-way guy to help kill off some penalties. Not too shabby. Defensively, Larson, Vatnin, Shattenkirk, Hachek, Edmondson, and DeHaan. Essentially the same blue line that got us to the playoffs last year. Just minus Heed and uh, insert Edmondson. So, um, oh no, uh, sorry, minus, uh, who was it? It was somebody else that we had. Shit, it wasn't Haycheck. Heed was one of them. We replaced Shattenkirk with Heed, and then another defensive defenseman that we have, I completely forget about. Merrill? No, we signed Merrill. There was another guy that we went into the playoffs with, because I had three defensive defensemen and three offensive defensemen. That's okay. The point is, it's Edmondson, Chirot. That's the one, Chirot. Yeah, Chirot. So out goes Chirot and Heed. In comes Shattenkirk and Edmondson. So I think our blue line is looking pretty good. Mid-80s, plus ones everywhere. That's looking pretty good. Special teams, all right, power play. Uh, we got Alexei up there. Garana, plus three on the first, plus three on the second with Sammy Blake Kasha. Uh, penalty kills where we're weak. We don't have penalty killers. Uh, we also have a coach that is not set up for playmakers, power forwards, and snipers, and yet I'm using them. So this is what I mean about resetting here in year number two. Uh, we now know what Alexei Lafreniere uh, needs when it comes to his head coach. And uh, we actually have a bunch of players that can work well with them. But we're going to have to make that switch off in the off season. All right? Not during the regular season. I still would like to make the playoffs. And uh, when it comes to the AHL squad, I mean, just <laughs> just absolutely stacked. Plus five on the first, plus five on the second. We have an 83 overall, plus five on the second line of the AHL. Uh, Trenton Spiller and uh, Elliot Van Ryan are two snipers that we've drafted in year one and two. They got the plus three on the third line. And then <laughs> Yarncroc and Yanmark back there. Now, these guys are all going to become trading assets. But the reason we want to spike up the AHL squad is so that our coach, Henrik Henriksen, has a really good season and grows. So that's what I'm doing. I'm grooming everyone, even a head coach. And these guys, I don't care if they're playing in the AHL. They're getting paid millions, so shut the hell up and do your job. All right? There it is, ladies and gents. So let us take it to... Let's go to game number one of the regular season and uh, watch Alexei Lafreniere's very first NHL game. I want to see how he looks in these colors. We gave him number 11. And it's... <gasps> game one of the regular season is against the team that kicked us out in the conference finals, ladies and gentlemen. We had a 3-1 series lead over the Dallas Stars. Three overtime losses in a row leads to the Dallas Stars defeating the, the Seattle Stallions in the conference finals. A game set. Oh, my God. This is huge. This is huge. Alexei, now that we have you on the squad, you got to help out a little bit, right? So the Seattle Stallions. No, I'm not making any more trades. I got my team set. No, I'm good. I am good. I didn't show you our scratch players. Uh, our scratch players were uh, Dubinsky, Howerluck, and uh, some 60 overall guy that we're not going to use. If I have a long-term injury to one of our defensemen, I'll bring up Heed or Merrill. But um, if it's just like a week or so, I think our team's going to be really good this year. Our team last year with the head coach, uh, you know, came back from a 1-10 record. 
Uh, we're starting the year on the right foot this season, and all of our guys got better. And we have plus threes all, all across the board, so I think we're going to be good. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First game of the season up against the Dallas Stars. Let's jump into this sucker and have some fun, shall we? Sim to next game. Uh, yeah, there you go. Don't screw around with me now. I don't want to accidentally fast forward through it. And here we go, ladies and gents. Let's go up against the Dallas Stars. Come on, baby. Scouts, oh, we'll worry about the scouts next time. We're just going to do one game here, all right? So, first period underway. It's in Thundershock. Alexei Lafreniere. Laugh, the great laugh, number 11. Fucking Jamie Benn. He opens up the goal scoring for the Dallas Stars. You don't like to see it. Dallas Stars just shitting all over the Seattle Stallions here in this universe. In the playoffs, and now... They're going to they're gonna spoil our rookie party, Alexei Lafreniere's very first career game here on home ice in Seattle, and you guys are not going to let us score. First period comes to an end. one nothing lead for the Dallas Stars. 11 shots to 10. So at least we're in this game. Joe Pov, I'm sick and tired of seeing these damn... Son of a bitch! The three-headed horseman. Or the three... Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say? Three-headed uh, demon? What's that fucking word I'm looking for? Oh, my God. Oh, there's an actual, like, mythological creature. I'm thinking of. <laughs> Whatever, man. They came back. Alexei Lafreniere! The first goal! Hydra, yeah. You cut one head off, another freaking two pop up. These guys kept on scoring goals against us in the playoffs. And sure as shit, when we get to opening night, it's 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 Sagan, Pavelski, and Ben again. No depth, no nothing. But Alexei Lafreniere, our future, scores his very first game. He scored from center ice! His first career goal is from friggin' center ice. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to try to recreate that goal. Oh, baby, Alexei. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, so Alexei Lafreniere scores from center ice. We have the third period. I think I'll go in around 10, 8 minutes, 5 minutes, something like that, all right? Let's turn it into a game, though. Come on. Don't go down by two. Don't go down more, more, by more than two. I can't even talk for some reason today. What the hell's going on? Here we go, third period, underway, ladies and gentlemen. Can the Seattle Stallions get back in this game? Oh, my Blake fucking Como? Oh, demonetized, whatever. Jeez Louise. Oh, yeah, have a blast. Have a freaking blast. Oh, my God. You know why? I ain't even jumping into this. 5-1? It's over. Alexei Lafreniere, you're going to have to deal with this, man. They, they, they embarrassed us in the playoffs, and now they've embarrassed us in opening night. But at least Alexei got us himself a goal, boys. All right, so Alexei Lafreniere has arrived to the NHL. And the next game, you know what, Crosby? Both Ramuski boys. This is even better. Fuck the Dallas Stars. Oh, it demonetized again. F the Dallas Stars. Well, the Ramuski boys. Let's get in there again. Second game. Let's go. Crosby versus Lab. Exactly. Could you imagine if in real life the Pittsburgh Penguins actually lose the Montreal Canadiens and they get them? Forget about it. That's another three Stanley Cups for Crosby before he retires. Unbelievable. Here we go. First period. Joshy Anderson scoring on Tristan Jerry. I wonder what happened to Matt Murray. Woohoo! Dennis Granoff scoring on the power play. Evander Kane scoring as well. There's the veterans. Granoff, the veteran of the AHL. Josh Anderson made his mark last season. And Evander Kane, our best player. Best player right now. Best power forward. Oh, but there he is. Sidney Crosby. All right. He wants to show a laugh. Who, who the, the, the real Ramuski stud is. So a 3-1 lead for your Seattle Stallions. Second period underway. Come on now, Seattle. Kill it. Give me that lead. I'll jump into a game with a lead because I just want to see what Alexei looks like in his Seattle Stallion jersey, man. I want to see how clean it looks. Power play. Late in the second period for Seattle. Goes nowhere. Tristan Jerry doing a good job keeping the puck out of the net. Comrie in the net. Comrie's in. Oh. Oh, do I have automated goalie rotations? Hopefully. Oh, man. Did Demko get injured? Shit. Is he really in? Yeah, Comrie's in. I don't know. Maybe it was just automated goalie rotations. Don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But Eric Comrie is in the net. Why? I do not know. Power play late for Seattle. Goes nowhere. Still a 3-1 lead, though. So holding on to it. Eric Comrie doing his job. Man, the Zebra's really gifting us here uh, some power plays, which I like to see. Oh, Zucker. Right, stop it. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Let's stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Fucking game, man. How long are you going to take? Three minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. So here we are in Thundershock. Is it? Uh, there he is. He's on the far side. Alexei Lafreniere, boys. We're witnessing him for the first time here. There he is. He's on the puck. The four check. Alexei toe drag. Curls. 
Oh, he's, oh my god, he's the playmaking beast. He almost got a backdoor pass to uh, Joshy Anderson right there. Oh my god, that would have been awesome to see. So a 3-2 lead for your Seattle Stallions here. Can we get our first win of the season? Up to Alexei. Alexei, use that speed. Here he is. Let's see what the young kid does. Toe drag. Rister! I love to see it! He's got two possessions, two good plays. Back to the point. Oh man, three possessions, three good plays. Joshy Anderson behind the net, rolling out. Looking, Kasse, wrist shot. Man, Seattle is all over. All right, let's change up the forward core right here, boys. Get off, get off. There you go. The defensemen are out there. Oh, maybe a little bit of a bad shift. I ah, bad line change right there. Yeah, that was a bad one. All right, change up the defensive core now. Sammy Blay over to Vatnin. Up to Evander, our second line. Evander cuts in. Looking, find the, oh, almost found a wide open player on front of the net. No, though, says the Pittsburgh Penguins. Finding Marco Scandella. Ah, stripped off the puck by the veteran. Kevin Shattenkirk picked up in the offseason. Yeah, Semi Blay goes offside. You like to see it. All right, uh, neutral zone faceoff. Let's get Bjugstad out there. We can actually save Laugh for the end of the game. Let's see his defensive skills when they pull their goaltender, all right? They're sending out Zucker, Malkin, and Rust. Come on, Bjugstad. Janssen. Yes! And uh, Bjugstad wins that face up. Back to Joel Edmondson. Edmondson, a little, little trouble right there. Ends up moving the puck up. Bjugstad across the line. Cuts back to the blue line. Feeding it into the middle. Oh, Janssen with that slapper. Good save in front, though. And here come the Penguins. Letang up to Rust. Over to Zucker. Across the blue line. They have numbers in the middle. Oh, Letang just misses the net there. Picked up behind the net by Seattle. Ooh, DeHaan. Get it up the ice now, my man. Into the middle to Bjugstad. Back over to DeHaan. They have space. Back to Edmondson. I got to tell them to shoot. Right, right. Got to tell them to shoot. Johnson behind the net. Coming out on front. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. No line change. You guys have got to get back. You guys have got to get back. Come on now. Don't be stupid. Ooh, Pittsburgh. They got 114 left. They're going to be pulling that goalie soon. Malkin. The clap. Holy shit. All right. First line. Let's go. Full line change. For the end of the game, boys. Wait a minute. Janssen with the slap shot. Goes across everybody. I got uh, Alexei Lafreniere. There he is. Number 11. He's going to be playing defense at the end of the game. 57 seconds left. Up by one are your Seattle Stallions. Are the Pittsburgh Penguins going to pull their goalie or what? What the hell game? Doomlin. In the middle. Sid Crosby. Oh, God. Get it off him. Kasha. Come on, dude. Kasha's playing center. They're pulling the goalie. Oh. Hornquist. In the middle. Crosby. Oh, just misses the net. Haycheck picks it up. Up to Alexei Lafreniere. Alexei. No, oh, man, unselfish! Alexei gets an apple! What a feed! He makes nothing but the right decisions, ladies and gents! Yeah! Laugh with the back pass, and then up to Joshy Anderson for the empty netter. That's, that's points in back-to-back -back games. Great job! Great job, Laugh! Yeah, boys! We got ourselves a stud. He's a point-per-game player two games in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get an instant replay closer to Alexei after this. You know, to hell with it. Wow, wow, the vibes are, are good. Let's get it right now. All right, this kid's very first play that we saw. So he's on the boards. He's where he needs to be. All right, on the breakout. Good hockey IQ. Look at number 11, Alexei Lafreniere, baby. There he is, boys. There's Laugh. There's Laugh in the green and white. And he gets going up the wing. All right, and I was thinking about telling him to shoot, but he's on the backhand. He realizes Evgeny Malkin is right behind him. So, all right, all right, I'll back pass it right there to the guy open. It's a shifty pass. He could have just dumped it in, but it worked. Back to Kevin Shattenkirk, who stays on side. Over to Joshy Anderson, and a snippety do da day. Beautiful job by Alexei Lafreniere. Alexei, you want to stay out there? Oh, they got the second line. That's fine, that's fine. 35 seconds left. That ain't laugh. Man, it didn't really look like him, but whatever, man. Give EA Sports a break. It's a prospect. <laughs> this game came out a year ago. I'm sure he'll look better in the next game. Or the game after that. Or maybe at NHL 30. Who knows? Oh, no! Tripping call. Not good. Uh, let's get uh, Bjugstad. Or there's a ball sack on the first day. Kevin Shattenkirk. Offensive defenseman. That's not what I freaking signed you for, my man. We just took a two-goal lead. You're going to start doing that shit? Damn. Kevin Shattenkirk going in the box. Two minutes for tripping. All right, so we got Balsack and Goudreau. Balsack, this is why I got you out here, man. Face-offs. Can you do it? Tyler Balsack. What a try. Thank you, St. Louis. <laughs> St. Louis, they got that capsule. Oh, Jesus! What was that? Oh, my God! I've never seen such a bad pass in my life! What? Oh, my God, EA, man. You, you never fail to impress EA Sports. Jeez Louise, what was that? That was the biggest goof up I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Kevin Shad. Oh, man. Who was that behind the net? 
Oh, I'll just send a back. <laughs> oh, wow, this new level of IQ I have never seen in this game. Jeez, Calvin DeHaan, you should be absolutely disgusted with yourself. <sighs> this is a great no look back pass, but my God. All right, all right. As the coach, I gotta, I gotta bring our team together. It's ridiculous. What the fuck are you guys doing? Oh, uh, hang on a second. How do I manage? I gotta like manage the team or something, right? Uh, uh, where is it? Call a timeout. The fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Alexei's back out there, boys. 21 seconds. We're only up by one. Come on. Get the game over with. Back uh, to Pedersen. They're pulling the goalie immediately. Yes. Get up to Alexei. Shoot it. Oh, he back passes it again. Larson tries to shoot. Of course, Larson misses. Oh, Alexei for check. Oh, he tried to get himself that empty netter, boys. He tried. Uh-oh. Seven. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tanev. Back to Dumoulin. Uh-oh. Lafreniere. He steals it off the guy in the middle. Selkie as well. Silky as well! Oh my god, Alexei, you freaking beast! Oh, he's, he's an animal. A goal in the first game, an assist in this game, and a freaking Selkie steal. That was probably a goal. Let's face it. Yes, Seabiscuit. Yes, the future is set. Our very first year when we were figuring out our identity, we were one game away from the Stanley Cup Finals, and now we've figured out our identity. The great laugh. The great laugh. For, for fuck's sake, Dahan, I should trade you just based on that. But Alexei Lafreniere, unbelievable play. Unbelievable. Let's give him that. Hang on, before I sign off, I mean, we got a, we got a, that's a, two high, he had two assists. He had two assists in this game. Where is he? Look at this back check. He's like, nah, this game ain't over. Dun, 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 dun. Head down the entire way. Dun, and then look. He got, he's like, all right, who am I picking up? I'm picking up this guy. He picks him up immediately. I got him. But then he realized, oh, shit. They outnumber us. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it was a goal. It was a goal. Oh, my God. Alexei, you damn beast. Yes. So the future is writ, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck? There he is. Alexei Lafreniere. Bang. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God. God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to shit all over me. Grand slam. Oh, yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.